My name is Andrew Kleske. I'm going to be presenting to you the Catalyst Electronic Medical Record. For this demonstration, I want to show you how fast and effective it is to move through our electronic medical record. The number one complaint by physicians is they do not want the EMR to slow them down. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to navigate and move through our electronic medical record. I'm going to go into incomplete notes and I'm going to choose patient Andy Anderson. And as you can see, when you pull up the patient, it gives you a nice face sheet. But I'm going to move into the chief complaint. And when we move into the chief complaint, you're going to see that our system starts to get very graphical, and it is age and gender specific. So I'm going to simply type in shoulder, choose shoulder pain as my chief complaint. Anytime you see these three dots, it allows you to go in and be able to type, speak, or write information. I'm going to move into the history and present illness. I'm going to simply choose the calendar. We're going to say this happened on the 5th. It happened suddenly. It affected the right shoulder. It affected the upper and lower anterior, and upper and lower lateral, and the upper and lower posterior. Come over here to my side. I'm going to do pain, swelling, and some weakness. I'm going to say it's an acute injury. I'm going to say the timing is constant, and it's very severe, and it's worsened by activity. And then I'm going to move down to my review of systems. And with our review of systems, you can easily document if this information is all negative or if it's all positive. And I'm going to make it all negative. Then I'm going to move into our physical exam. And what's nice is we can customize the normals in our physical exam so the physician can quickly move through the documentation. So I'm going to say my general is normal, my head, knee, and T are normal, my eyes are normal, lung and chest, abs are normal, and I'm going to focus on what is wrong with the patient. And they have affected their right shoulder. And once we get into our physical exam and drill down into our shoulder, you're going to see where our system becomes very graphical. And what's nice about our graphics, they are working graphics, and all the information has been being put into an elegant note. As we document, it's being put into a natural language generator. If I click on muscles and tendons, you're going to see the graphics. I can click on bones and joints, and I can click on ligaments. As we move into the ligaments, I'm going to choose rotator cuff. What's nice about this is, is that physicians are used to pictures, but it's highlighting the affected area. So that way it's a nice educational piece for the patient so you can show them exactly what's going on. I'm going to say there's painful motion and instability. Now I'm going to move to my diagnosis code. What's nice about the diagnosis screen is that it's actually following exactly what the physician is doing. So I'm going to say there's shoulder pain in the diagnosis. I'm going to move to my order. Say for I wanted to give this patient a sh uh, shoulder view of the right of an x-ray, simply go to my common orders, do an x-ray of the right shoulder. I'm then going to move to my prescriptions. If I want to give this patient Celebrex, I can easily come over to my search block, CEL for Celebrex. I'm going to give them oral. Come over here to my right hand side, I'm going to give them 100 milligrams, one, once a day for 30 days. I'm going to simply come down to the screen, I'm going to hit sign, and that's going to be go, go to our pharmacy. Then it comes to our note. And as I spoke about at the beginning, everything that we just documented, everything that we moved through in our chief complaint, our history and present illness, our physical exam, our diagnosis and prescription was all documented very quickly and efficiently. It gives me a progress note. All the information that I put into my history and present illness was documented here. If I page down, it's going to give me any active medications or previous medications. It goes into my physical exam, so all the information that I already had set for my normals are documented here. Any test results, it gives me my diagnosis code here. It gives me my x-ray that I did, and now it's giving my ENM code, and we do have a coding engine. And the amount of information that we just put in, it's providing us with that documentation here, giving us a 99212. If I were to hit done, simply choose done here. It also gives us the capability to make medical decision making. So I'm going to say it was moderate medical decision making. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to choose 99212. I'm going to sign off on my note. And then, it, then we can move on to our next patient. I'm going to sign off on my note. And then we can move on to our next patient.